I'm here today again with my two experts on the Riverside area in Toronto. Elizabeth on the left and Pamela run the Riverside Business Improvement Association. And Riverside is one of those interesting historic neighborhoods of Toronto that was a little bit uh, rough around the edges for a while. And from what I can see here, I haven't been down here spending a lot of time for the last few years. There have been a lot of new things happening here in the Riverside BIA. Uh, lots of new stores, lots of uh, beautification projects and improving the area. And this, I think, is part of the whole revitalization of the area. We have a lovely outdoor park here that is called Font Bond Place. Can you tell me a little bit more about this outdoor space? Well, it's, it's all part of Font Bond Ministry. Uh, run to the Catholic Church. This particular building has um, some community community involvement. They they do uh, uh, to help people in need, as well as residential area for single women. Mm -hmm. Shut in and shut in. Okay. Uh, they are very gracious. They have actually let us use the space for some of our activities as well. Really. So some of our community activities that we have. Great. Santa visits Santa the riverside. Santa visits the riverside. And he sets up his throne here and welcomes here the kids and oh, gives, nice. out, gives out uh, gifts. We have a, a tree lighting ceremony here every year as well. And uh, so it, it's really so. Sort this of is one kind of, of a areas. nice focal point for the community. Yeah, this park yeah, here. Very nice. Uh, do you know, Elizabeth, maybe how long this park has been in existence, roughly? Um. Is it very new or has it been around for a it while? It has been around for a while. It probably has been upgraded over the last maybe six years or so. Yeah, because it looks like it had some nice recent improvements with the the special paving here with the blue yeah. color accent. Again, so not surprising, Riverside yes. making allusion to the river and you've got a little pavement uh, a little uh, river going yes, through, exactly. through here. Yeah, no, that's great. Let's uh, head a little bit further west here. Wanted to show you this wonderful historic building on this side. The what was it called? The Polter Block. Polton, Polton, Polton Block. Yeah. Okay, Polton Block. Looks like oh, we have a we have a date on there. 1885. Okay, great. And then we've got a bridal store here. Leanne Belcher. We have a tremendous amount of activity here today on the street with some uh, construction work going on over there in this area. Oh, let's have a look at that. This is very nice. There we go. Very nice arrangement. There you go. A nice uh, clothing store called Bergstrom Original. Definitely having some uh, rather hip clothing retailers and designers coming into the area. Very nice. Here's a new leasing opportunity, a new store. And then here we have Elber. What was it called? Elber's Antique. Elber's Antique. Okay. And what I would suggest then is in the next clip, oh, I can see some of the beautification efforts that you guys have put in. People can now sit down and enjoy the neighborhood. Lots of street lights going on, as you can see. Coming back over here to a branch of the Toronto Library, the Queen and Salter branch. Mm -hmm. uh, can we pop in there? Because that looks like it's a very interesting uh, historic building. Okay. Let's do that when we come back.